Oh. You have two dogs? Two dogs. Quarantine. Wait. Let me tell you. We didn't have a... I'm going to send... Prince, I'm going to send you a pic. Yo, this oh. dude is a ham. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you. I can't. Your people know this. So um, that's amazing. Well, there you have it. Um, so, you know... We, we first of all, I'm gonna we do a speed round at the end of this. So like in ten minutes when we reach the end of this, we're gonna hit I'm gonna hit some fun questions in the speed round, guys. And I, I looked at your, your questions, but I'm doing you all a favor. I'm not pulling the questions up here because I know you wanna see more of Anthony's face. So I'm not I'm not going ahead and covering his face like this. You see that? Love your page. <laughs> Great. We love you, Stokes Live, but we want to see Anthony. So I, I have the questions here, so I promise you guys I'll get to those things. But I wanna talk really quickly about um what you did with Katie's Art Project, right? So with Katie's Art Project, we pair two people. Anthony was paired with a beautiful woman, Darielle, young girl who was fighting um, cancer at the time. She's now in remission and she's healed and she's awesome. And so just, can you talk a little bit, that song that you guys wrote, Cry Today, Smile Tomorrow, is so popular <laughs> and people just loved it. People loved writing covers of it. People loved, you know, to um, hear the story. You made that awesome video behind the scenes and Dario got to be a part of that. So can you just like talk quickly about the process of writing a song um, with like a living inspiration that was right there with you? That was special. I mean, like, you know, you facilitated that. So thank you. Like I, that wouldn't have happened without you. you know? And, and, that was that was uh that was still one of the most special moments I've had as a songwriter in my life so far. Like, you know, to 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 be in the room with her and you know, it also took a lot for her to open up the way she did. Darielle, I remember Will 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 and I spoke to her on the phone. Will who also co wrote the song with Darielle and I, like Will and I talked after we spoke to her for like 20 minutes or something. And we were like, yo, she just sounds, she's so special, man. And I, we could feel like her power through the phone. It was, it, I mean, it might sound a little cheesy, but, but then we got, we got up in the room and um, we were just like, you know, immediately like, yo, you, 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 you take the lead, Dario. You tell us how you want this story told. And she did. I mean, she opened up. She really, really opened up. And, I, you know, both Will and I asked her hard questions about friends who left. And was there a person you loved that, you know, was there heartbreak involved? What was the hardest part? She said, seeing my friend, you know, one of the hardest parts was seeing my friends graduate and me not being able to do that, you know, and, mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and them going to college and, and, and you know, and I'm, I'm here, like, not being able to do that, you know. And it was just like... But I remember, I remember how we got the title of the song. She said that she was crying in in the. She said what was wild was like it's so vulnerable. So she was crying in the shower. She said, and yeah. her came in the room, and her nurse um, heard her crying, and that's already a vulnerable state to be in, right? You you're weeping in the shower, like you're physically naked, and you feel naked like emotionally too. And her nurse is like, yo, just, you know, it's okay. You know, just remember, you'll cry today and smile tomorrow. And I was like, yo, that's the title. That's the title of the song. And, you know, so and powerful. hours later, yo, we had a song. And and, uh, and then, you know, Spike, obviously, Spike Spike Lee got so excited about it and, and put it in the show. Um, and, you know, and, and we got to, you know, and what was special was Dario is now official songwriter, you know, and she's got a sync in a movie like she's in you know i mean that's 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 what makes it dope like when you can when your art meets activism in that way yeah when you connect it's so so great and Darielle, i know she's here and you know it's it's absolutely um so powerful to hear something like you guys got together and wrote this song but it became so much bigger right like it hit so many people everyone writing covers i mean it was like the next day after you guys after you did that song it was like the next day there was like a hundred something covers on youtube like there were a few yeah it was people just not a few there were like a hundred i looked the next day i was like these people are tr they are about it they are about what you all said in the song and it it was beautiful and so um you know, that's, that was an honor for us to have you guys both do that with Katie's art project. And we were happy to be a part of that. Yeah, no, thank you for that. Um, yes, of course. So now listening to, um, speaking about young, young kids, right. And how that inspires us. You are young yourself and, um, relatively speaking, what if five years ago, did you think you would be here right now in this moment? No, nah, definitely not. 
Nah. Crazy. Like, like, like you knew you'd be successful. You knew you're talented, but like, could you have pictured what happened here? No, nah. no, nah, not not one bit. I'm, you know, I'm just I'm grateful for like, I'm just grateful to like have, you know, one be here. Like, I'm even sitting in my studio right now talking. Like, I never in a million years would have dreamt to even have my own studio. Like a space that I could come to and just make music freely whenever I want to make art, you know, do this, right? Like I, I've been here all day doing interviews, but like, it's still a space where I feel free and I feel I can do this and express myself, right? However, however, uh, you know, I, 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 I need to, right? In whatever moment. And like, yo, I never thought like, you know, I, I, I wanted to be, it was wild because graduating high school, I, I wanted to play baseball and then go to college, play ball in college and be a gym teacher because I was like, yo, that's how you can be a coach. You just be yeah. a teacher, you, be, you can become a coach. And that would have been fine too. But I'm just, you know, like if I hadn't had mentors and I hadn't had people in my life being like, yo, like that's a great plan, but I think this other plan might be a little better mm. because I see something in you, uh, you know, that you might not notice right now. You may not actually like be able to you know you may you may not be able to see it right now but i'm gonna tell you we see it mm. and just trust us and you know and i just thank god that i was like all right and i just followed their lead yeah you know and uh and yeah i would have never thought in five years i i, I would have been in the biggest musical uh, uh in the history of all the musical theater and had and write an album and get signed to a label and whatever right like you know work with spike lee and Lin Manuel and John Chu and Stephanie Clement, like you know what I'm saying, like, yo, seriously, man, I used to see y'all, like, I used to see y'all doing the auditions for In the Heights, in um, I don't know if it was Pearl Studios, I think it was, and I'd be seeing y'all, you and um, uh, uh, Michael Balderrama, outside, and I'd be like, dang, man, I wish I could be up in that mix, you know? And look at you, and look at you. So where? Okay, so first of all. That's amazing, right? Because you, what you're saying, and one of my questions, and you just answered, is like, if you weren't doing this, what would you be doing? Like, what would you be doing? And like, you're saying, like, even like coaching would be something that you would be drawn to. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, I love baseball. I mean, I, I've loved the game my whole life. You know, and I and I was like, you know, I, ne I was never good enough to be in the major leagues, but I was good enough to play ball and get some money for it and like mm. go to school. So I was like, yo, if I could do that, then you know, that's half the battle, right? Like, I'll go play ball, I'll go do the thing I love and study, you know, be a, be a, a, a phys ed teacher. And then, you know, I can coach, I can, I can do that and make a career out of that and do that, you know, for as long as that takes. And then, you know, whatever, and see where life takes me. But um, yeah, it's just wild how, how life, I got injured at 16, right? And my life was just never the same. I, I still was going to go to school to play ball and I was still going to get a scholarship, but my arm was never the same. My zeal for the game was never the same. Yo, I'll never forget, I quit my summer team when I was 17. I've never quit summer team when I was 17. I've never quit. No, I, I didn't quit. You know, that was just not a thing I did, and I, I quit. You know, I was like, yo, I'm done. Yeah. And I just didn't show up to any more games, and then I joined the um, community theater, like, in Bay Ridge. I, like, did, like, a community theater, like, cabaret type show and I sang this is the moment and I took my shirt off in the show like it was all crazy like I did I was like what are you doing man? like why are you taking your shirt off man? but like I was just hot like I was just so hyped to beat it and I was like I feel like I found my thing and uh and um it's just it's you know it's it's amazing how life does that you think you're gonna do one thing and then boom something else happens I love it. And did you, when you, I, this is someone asked this, did you, when you were auditioning for Hamilton, did you know you were auditioning for Lawrence? I didn't know what I was auditioning audition for. I was just there. I was like, yo, like, I, I, I didn't know what I was auditioning for. Um, they, they, they didn't, I think they had put it in a breakdown later on, like in the, in the second callback, I mean, third callback, but it was like the first audition was just, I didn't even know what Hamilton's mixtape, but I didn't know what it was. Like I had he I heard the music and I was like, this is crazy. You know, uh, I'd never heard anything like that, especially not musical theater. Yeah. And, but, but, um, but what was wild was when I, the first time I even, I went into Telsey and I auditioned for a musical called a piece of my heart. Yeah. That wasn't even like, 
that they were casting up, not right for that. I was, mean, you know, they, they was never gonna put me in that. But like, I didn't know what the. I had just came back from, you know, I had just come off of doing a cruise ship contract, uh, and I was singing doing Saturday Night Fever the music. Come on, cruise ship contract. I love come on. that. I didn't know that. Let me tell you, playing. <laughs> Play yo, play yo, Steph playing double J, which yep. fun fact, Andy Blankenbuehler played on Broadway, double J. Get it? I didn't he, know that. He told okay. me that. He was like, yo, you know I play double J, right? <laughs> I, was like, <laughs> I was like, for anybody who doesn't know, Andy Blankenbuehler is our choreographer. Uh uh, and Stephanie was one of our choreographers as well, who worked she worked with Andy. And uh uh, you know, it was it was so funny, like coming off that ship i was like nobody knows who i am in this town i don't i had just got my equity card kind of recently and uh, from doing in the heights at pioneer theater company in salt lake city that's amazing. playing sunny uh but it was um but anyway uh i'm like i'm kind of veering off from the question I don't, I don't even remember the question but i'm kind of like no you know, i love that you 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 nailed it so will the at the end of the day right like we know we all love theater um what's next for you though because you the world is your oyster i mean i got i'm working on my second album right now i got a song you are, coming out the people want to know okay yeah i got a song coming out next month called stop that i'm so excited about it's actually about about it was crazy like you know i, I got that I got, i'm going to budapest i'm going to hungary to shoot a movie wow. um, uh called distant uh uh, and uh, it's my first sci-fi kind of like it's amazing. It's uh, it's the biggest role I've ever gotten to play. It's only two people in the cast, and wow. Uh, and and um and uh and um it's a big movie, and I'm really um grateful that they gave me the opportunity to do that. And uh, you know, and the heights coming out next year, but you know, I'm I'm just uh I'm just really trying to focus on uh, on on developing two. I'm developing uh, two movies that I'm now being able to be in the process of like creating them from their conception and being a part of that conversation of like how we want characters to be and what you know what I'm saying so yeah so that's that's been that's a blessing but um but yeah man I'm just I'm pumped for this right now this music I've been writing all the time and stops coming out next month and um you know and what was wild about that song was that like that wasn't even a song that that song is about me not being able to stop in my life not knowing how to do that enough yeah. and like not knowing how to just like sit back and just in like take in what's actually like in front of me right instead of always thinking about what's next and like moving 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 i didn't know how to stop and and i think that was the last song that we wrote on this writing trip in la and then two weeks later um uh, uh, uh new york goes on lockdown so i had no choice but to stop and i was like yo how crazy is it that this was the f last song we wrote and then my label was like my a and r was hype my whole team everybody we all hype he was like, yo, this has got to be the first single. Yeah. You know? And um, and I didn't, you know, I didn't mean. I didn't mean for this song to be relative, you know, right now. But I, it was so personal, but now it feels like this story that now some ways feels universal. So all of us had to stop and, 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 you know, be there with our families and spend more time with kids and spend more time with our significant other and have hard conversations that we probably avoided for months, maybe yeah. years, right. With family members or whoever we're in lockdown with and, 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 um, and also just learn how to be silent and still, you know, so, um, that's what the song is about. Uh, embracing that you know and, and um i'm so excited for it to come out but anyway yeah that's kind of like what i got well here. that's amazing and what's the first like so this is really important right so like what can you say to people who want to take action right now right people who are in the middle watching this revolution happen we're watching all of the racial and social injustices come to light you know what is like the number one thing that you can recommend to everybody um that 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 can allow them to take action one um no question is is no question is is dumb right ask questions ask que especially for like you know i think it's it's okay for us to uh you know these have been issues that have been going on for years years but 
but it's also like it's okay to acknowledge that although they've been going on for years you you know you person or me aunt right may have not been paying attention as much or may not have been right because you've been so consumed with work or you've been consumed with your own life or you never maybe you grew up in a neighborhood and you never had to right you grew up in in in, in a, a, a country that i don't know what whatever right for whatever reason but it's like ask questions and like you know get involved right do something use whatever you're good at to contribute right like it's been so special to see people at protests like giving out water giving out snacks like you know pe people just wanting to be involved like i was in dc for um for juneteenth and we were out there protesting and marching and and um and you know people were performing on the back of truck backs of trucks like that is a part of protesting using your gifts using the things that God has blessed us with right that the ability to make music to make movies to to dance to you know um you know to write whatever you whatever you whatever you feel like your gift is or whatever you know um and it's like asking questions getting educated right like listening right and then also like moving taking action right like boom. Like, if that hits, donate to that, you know, organization. But, like, if you see there's a march and, like, you might be, you know, and you, you feel compelled that, you, you know, you want to be a part of that, go do that. Go learn. Go be a, go be, go get in the mix. You know what I'm saying? Because that's really the only way we're going to learn is, like, by getting in the mix and really, like, you know, it was, I think the, the what's been so amazing about this time was these protests have been so special because it's, like, I've never, like, at least in my life, you know, um, I've never seen a, such a diverse group of people, like a diverse, like crowd of people coming in solidarity, you know, and, uh, you know, and, and, and to, to say Black Lives Matter, to, to, to come together and like, and, and it, it, on one accord and to really like, you know, to really like in, come together to show the world that yeah. we are unity and saying that like, yo, this is wrong and right. this is how we want this is how we want to see the world and this is how we the world should be this is how this is what we want to see and we're standing together and we're going to fight until until um until we see change and like i'm just i've been fired up and mad inspired and and you know and i think you know all the artists out there you know i think it's like yo we got to continue to make um we got to continue to 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 speak about what's happening around us and make art that reflects the world around us, right? And like and what we see and and what we hope the world can look like, you know. And that that's what's so amazing and so powerful about about what we do about art. Right? Like how amazing it is that someone spray painting Black Lives Matter in on streets. You know, we were on that street in D.C. Yo, in Best Star in L.A. Like, you know people tagging up i mean yo look you know that's kind of how i feel about it i think it's like just get in the mix man don't worry about you know don't worry about like how or what. just ask questions man just ask questions you know i immediately reached out to people i trust you know who who you know uh with some of my homies and i was just like yo I'm, what's up how do i get in the mix when the hurricane hit in puerto rico i didn't yeah. know how to get involved i didn't know i was gonna get involved but i just hit up some of my homies who've been you know, who did this is their job. They activists. They do this a day in, and there are people who do this day in and day out. Find them. Yeah. You know, and especially and, as artists to be creating right now, right? Because it feels like people are looking to the voices of the artists to see people that are creating that graffiti on the street. People that those people, the people that are creating the the things that we're all seeing as monumental things on social media, whatever. They're artists, and so if you're in here right now and you're an artist, it's important that you're listening, right, to what Anthony's saying here is about really getting out there getting your hands dirty making art about it because the art is the thing that spreads yeah i mean you know but like not to you know not not to go on and on and on about it but if you're a teacher you're an educator you yeah. know you're a lawyer you got this power and right we have the power to you know uh you know you they have the power to shape minds right to shape people's ways of thinking, you know, uh, so, uh, you know, no matter what you do, man, I think it's like, yo, how do we use our superpower to do good, you know? Yeah, 100%. I love it. Okay, we've reached time for speed rounds. I'm so excited to go through this. And you just answer one word quickly, you know, whatever comes to your mind, great? Matt. Are you ready? I'm ready. Philip Ham or John Lawrence? 
Oh, Philip Ham. Oh, yeah. Okay. Your favorite <laughs> piece of art? Favorite piece of art? There's a painting by Basquiat. Oh, you, you mean art like anything? Like, oh, it's okay. perfect. There's a Basquiat's painting called, great. Basquiat called Arroz con Pollo that I love. Um, I love but yeah, my favorite piece of art are all the Rocky movies. Okay. Every single Rocky movie. That's art. I love it. Those steps. Nothing like that shot. Steps. Um, the step. Do you read fan fiction? Do I read fan fiction? I don't. Should I? I mean, I don't. I mean, who knows, really? I've read a couple pieces of fan fiction, and it's steamy. You, your life is steamy. You should check oh, some of it out. Okay. Um, like it. <laughs> great. When are you getting married? Next year. Okay. 2021 is going to be off the chain for yeah. you. It's going to be all the things. Um, Heights or Hamilton? That's hard. I know. Someone asked this, so I got to say it. Heights or Hamilton? How you going <laughs> to? I mean, it, it, might be, it might be Heights only because of the, the character, like the characters in the, in the, I don't know, man, because Hamilton's such a huge part of my life. But, I don't know, that's so hard. But Heights, I don't know. I guess maybe. It could be a tie. It could be a tie. Yeah, but people hate ties. Like, I know, I know. But you know what? You got to keep them guessing. They're not going yeah, anywhere. I can't. Yeah, I don't, you can't. Come on, you can't ask me that. That's fine. Um, I was going to say, how is Nala? But you got Prince, too. Do they get along? No, they do not. Oh, my gosh. Yo, she, I, the way she gives him side eye, like, I'm talking every day. Like, and then she looks <laughs> at me like, what made you do this? Like, why would you ruin my life the way you have? <laughs> by bringing this dude in here. I can't. Uh, so, that poor uh, thing. That poor I'm thing. Hoping they get better. Oh my goodness. OK, so I got a quick three more. Um, what's your favorite thing that you've done? It doesn't only have to be in your career. Wow, my favorite thing that I've done. Shit. Damn, my, fav my favorite thing I've um, I think my favorite thing I've done was uh, accept Jesus into my life and get therapy. Okay. Those, those two things, those two <laughs> things work well together when they're going good together. But sometimes it'd be it'd be blurry. But when 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 things are aligned, it's there know. for you. It's there yes. for you. I love that. I love that. And it's so important for people to know it's a, the human that's behind the artist. So that's amazing. Um, do you know what Jesus? What's that? Do you know what Jesus? Do I know who? What cheese? What cheese? What cheese? What cheese? What? No, guys. What cheeses? Cheese. What's that? I don't know. I'm asking you. Cheeses. Your fans, your fans want to know about. Do you know the cheese? Do I? Nah, I think. What they talking about? Out here? No. <laughs> the cheese. What I talking about, man? You see, he sees you. He sees you. They just want to know that he that you see them. All right. Oh, I see them. Yeah, I see yeah. Y you oh. see it. He sees you. Um, so, uh, I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you for a being an artist who absolutely puts your money where your mouth is and, um, be being an artist who has written things and continues to write and work through this time when all of us need to look up to someone who is, um, saying powerful stuff. Thank you for that. Um, thank you for being a friend of Katie's art project and for helping us bring art to these kids who um, are not only in quarantine right now, they're quarantined when they're sick all the time. And so this time is really uh, a time of really like reckoning for them, for them to see other, for us to see what it's like for them. So um, thank you for bringing art into people's homes and um, for making this very long press day even longer. I appreciate you so much. Come on, man. I appreciate you, Steph. You the, you the GOAT, man. Stop playing. You the one, man. Love you, Love you yo, so much. All right. you, thanks guys for joining us and thank you anthony and um obviously in a week 